Changing money for a holiday or business trip is a fundamental part of any trip, but for many, convenience is the most important part of this process, with many opting to change their money at outlets that offer the worst exchange rates on the market, thereby losing out on the money they have available to spend when they reach their destination. Welcome to another episode of Global Banking Finance Review. My name is Zipika Lobo. Today we are going to talk about how to exchange currency. Airport exchanges are a costly option as many charge a fee called service charge and the exchange rate you get can be 7-15% to 15% worse than the standard rate received on the high street. For many, this is the only option as they simply do not understand that there are a range of rates on offering for exchanging money depending on where you do it. Credit or debit cards. This is a widely used method of purchasing currency, mainly because going down the routes means that the current rate of exchange is always used. In addition to this, as a way of driving loyalty, some world transaction fees, which leads to further savings in the process. Indeed, using a debit card with no foreign transaction fees charged on a credit card with no foreign transaction fees can provide savings of at least 5%. Cash points or ATMs. Much like debit and credit cards, these use the current rate and provide the best deal as a result. However, there is no hard and fast rule to when fees will be charged, so it's vital that travelers check this at the particular cash point they are using, as it will be clearly highlighted before confirming a withdrawal. When using your bank before you travel, remember that there are major demands on banks on a daily basis, so it's best to order foreign currency in advance from a bank which should only take a day or two to process. While this requires careful planning, it's a better option than purchasing at an airport. Exchange money at your destination. Many cities have currency houses where money can be exchanged. Despite these offering convenience, they all offer different exchange rates, meaning that valuable time that could be used to relax is spent looking at the rates in different outlets in order to save 2% on a transaction. Prepaid cards. Alternatively, opt for a prepaid travel card. This allows users to load foreign currency onto what's essentially a traveling gift card, though those typically carry an annual fee. In conclusion, whatever the method chosen, there are likely to be a fees, but by avoiding those that incur the largest ones, travelers can remain savvy and ensure that as much as their hand-earned money is available to them. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And one lucky winner will win a one-year free subscription of Global Banking in Financial Review Magazine.